guys, welcome back to another episode where I am fighting a war and no longer am on the Soviet side. Yeah. Yeah, apparently I'm no longer on the Soviet side. I'm apparently now on the side of the Americans. And we are just casually chilling out here in our land. It's kind of being reconquered again because I can't really stop anything. I mean, I'm going to be real here. I don't really have the militaristic capacity yet to build it. Wait, what are these? They're Mexicans. Oh, did, is Mexico a part of the Allies? They are. Huh. Who else is a part of the Allies? All you guys? Huh. All you guys are a part of it. All you guys are a part of it. Huh. So, yeah, apparently we do have some protection against the uh, German army that's moving in right here. But I, I don't believe we're going to be able to do anything to stop it. Because we literally have nothing. And apparently I don't quite know how to build troops. I guess... I guess I missed somewhere how to actually build troops. Uh, plus armored. Maybe I have to build an armored division. Then maybe I have to build a uh, uh, an artillery division. Maybe then I have to build one of these direct fire divisions. Anti-tank. Maybe then I have to build an engineer division. Let's see. Get the artillery. Let's see. No, no, no. That's not it. Is that it? No. Alright, somebody's gonna have to explain that to me, because I really do not understand why I can't build anything yet. But, yeah. If all goes, America's now going to do whatever it has to. It really should unite. Th there we go. Okay, there we go. It pushed. Oh my goodness, wow, they're doing a major push. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, yeah. Keep pushing, America. Keep pushing. No, don't stop. That wasn't me criticizing you guys. Don't stop pushing. You guys just keep on pushing. We'll eventually win this. We will eventually win this. I mean, seriously. The only resistance you have right now is the Italians. And they're not too big. Um, over here on the Russian front, they seem to be crushing through everything. Uh, I I kind of wish I kind of wish I could have kept both alliances. But apparently you can't. Um, over here, we're not exactly doing much. Except just watching as our nation just slowly falls again. I okay. Let's see, November 16th. Let's just see, I don't know what Underground Resistance does, but hopefully what I'm hoping is it's going to spawn like six troops over here, so then maybe I could actually use them to go fight these guys. Um, yeah, in America, look at that. Look at that line right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful line. Oh my goodness, that is, a, that is just a beauty. Um, Britain, you should probably get your troops in here too. Because, you know, you were invaded here like a second ago. It's not helping that you guys are, yeah. Anyways, let's see. Russia, though. Russia has basically reconquered a lot of its land. These, I think the Germans and the Italians are kind of in a scramble now because they don't know what to do. They're both being conquered by the Americans and by the uh, Soviets. The Soviets are pushing back over here with their front. Uh, they're going to create a pretty strong front. The, the fall of Pearl Harbor. What? Wait, did Japan really... <gasps> no! What? America, why would you let that happen? No! No! The, oh, the inhumanity! Oh, why? Why? Okay, so, that happened, everyone. And let's see, Manchukuo's about to die, which means the Soviets are about to crush through the rest of China. Which will be nice. Once they start crushing through China, I think they're going to destroy most of Japan's influence. Um, over here back in my land, we're just kind of watching everything kind of unfold. Again, there's only three troops over here, so even if they do reconquer all of my land again, I'm pretty sure America's going to be able to beat them back. Pretty sure. Like, I'm fairly certain they're going to be able to beat them back again. Uh, over here, though, in Africa, it looks like... It looks like... Why haven't you guys been moving in? I've been curious about this. Because there's two troops, and you guys literally have this many troops. Well, actually, these are mostly HQs. Uh, there's a couple of troops. You guys haven't thought of go attack these troops. You just go, like... Once you defeat these guys, you basically win. Like, I don't think they have any other troops there. So... If you guys could do that, that'd be really awesome. Okay, okay. And let's see. America is just 
they've basically destroyed the entire uh yeah germany's gone they already conquered Rhineland, Ansbach. i mean look at that um in fact i think the border like between the cold war will probably be like right about here america's moving in insanely quick wow there's nothing wow this is just insane there's nothing they could do to stop them america's now officially <laughs> america did it guys america did it go america yeah Oh, I see I'm wasted. I can't really help you out with that. Okay, let's see. Underground research going. America going to finish off over there. Soviets coming down. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Allies are just going to own all Berlin. That's Berlin right there, yeah. I think, yeah, we're going to own, they're going to own all of Germany. America's just going to be like, Psh, no, no Berlin Wall here today baby just gonna be like all democracy all democracy uh but they might let's see the soviets are moving in at a fairly good rate they probably will probably push back to poland um america is wow they just like destroyed the germans just destroyed them oh man now i just need to get through the italians though the italians are still kind of like fighting us Oy. Yeah, the Italians were definitely the shock of this game. And let's see, the Soviets are pushing a little bit out. Okay, let's see, America's rapidly... F wow. I'm watching this, man. I'm watching the destruction of the Germans as they just cannot fight all of this. Oh my goodness, they just can't. They're getting overwhelmed. Oh, man. And look at that. They're moving in. I think we conquered Berlin. Yes! America conquer Berlin, everyone. America conquer Berlin. Okay, so that means Germany's about to be completely owned by us. And let's see. Our allies are... The allied powers are just destroying the entire armies. I'm kind of hoping that Russia at least gets the borders back to where they used to be. Just so it doesn't look too awkward. Because, yeah, America's moving in pretty fast. I'm pretty sure America will probably not be kind. Ma Annex Germany! What? Oh. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Germany is now completely annexed by America. From this point on, this will be known as Germany, America. <laughs> wow, that's... Okay, so... Politically, diplomacy-wise, that basically destroys the biggest part in the Axis powers. Um, Italy's about to fall next because they they're not gonna be able to fight. They're not gonna be able to fight the Soviet Union and America's forces, especially after that. And now Russia's going to be like moving all of its troops into Hungary. Hungary's now dead. Hungary, you are now dead. Um, let's see. I got all my land back. I'm happy. Um, let's see. Japan is apparently moving in. Uh, all, Australia has been liberated. Really? <gasps> Yay! Australia's back! Oh, and New Zealand's also making a push too! <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness, we're getting... Everything's starting to... Everything's starting to turn up Millhouse, everyone. Like, seriously, we're starting to have all these, like, cool events. Like, everything's starting to become all fancy and happy. Now we just need to crush the Italians, though. That's the last little bit of sad news. Um, we're gonna see who gets the most land out of these two guys. I really don't know. Like, this is all just a cluster mess. It seems, it seems like actually in this time period, the Soviets are gonna own Greece. Unless America has some more troops over here, no. Um, yeah, it seems like, seems like in this timeline, the Soviets are gonna own Greece and probably Romania. And like the lower parts of the Balkans. Um, America will basically own like the top parts, a little bit of Hungary. And the Slovakia just not a part of this. Do they just like get a free pass and not have to go to war with anyone? Hmm. Interesting. And let's see. America is now just crushing through the Italian lines. Like they're just Scottish cheese or Swiss cheese. Whatever one you want to prefer those two uh, anonyms. And let's see. The Soviets just destroying everything. They're not even caring anymore. Man. Oh. America defeating the Italians. I think we're gonna we're going to take Rome here very very soon. America president has annexed Hungary. Yay! So now Hungary is now gone. 
which means, wow, even more of the Italian forces are now destroyed. Um, they got, Russia still has some of its own land. It's probably going to be able to conquer, finish up that pocket. Maybe it'll be able to get a little bit more. Basically, I don't know how this land's going to be divvied up. Probably like right about here is going to be the border, hopefully. I don't want to see any kind of weird stuff happen, but let's see. So let's see. This is, well, this is kind of going to be a weird, a weird, like, Cold War. I mean, it's going to be like ding, 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 ding. And let's see. But then again, Turkey, Persia, uh, most, probably most of Japan, once they're all finished, are all going to join the uh, Soviet powers. And probably India, too, at this rate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. And now the Soviets are now going to send all their troops to go, like, finish off the, uh... Oh, there we go. So America is just kind of making a weird border. That's fine. All right. And then the Soviets just had to finish off all these guys. They get this done, and then that's done. And America just has to finish off the Italians. Yeah. We're done, people. We did it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And in American land... American land is looking quite strong. How's America looking, actually? It's looking very desolate, actually. It has no troops, because of all the troops you've been sending. And then this, this has to be done away with quickly, because that's a really bad thing to happen. And let's see, but then again, the Japanese didn't actually conquer any of the Philippines, which is kind of weird. Well, actually, no way they did, but then America, we conquered them. Ah, I see how that went. Australia is now back in the game. The building up troops to come conquer back the land. That's good. I don't know how this front is going, but I'm pretty sure the Soviets are going to start even beating the Japanese even more. Um, over here, as you guys can see, we're losing pretty badly. The British aren't sending any new troops to go defend India, so... Yeah, not exactly a good thing. Let's see, we're about to, we're about to take Rome, everyone. As we slowly watch as the Americans push for Rome... I think, is that Rome? That's Rome right there. Because they are not conquering this. But that's Rome. As soon as Rome falls, everyone. I think that's a Well, there's still, I guess it's still Japanese, but that's pretty much the end of the war. And what a war it is. This was like, majorly shocking. Yeah, okay, so this is how the, this is how the new, you know, Great War, no. The Cold War is going to look, guys. Look at this Cold War. Look at it! Hmm. Man, this looks weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now America's just pushing down at a rapid rate. There's nothing they really have to do anymore. Because they just... Oh my goodness. Man. Just wow, everyone. Just wow. Let's see. My men back here. Do I have any men? Still don't have any men. But at least I now have my full ICM ratings, which is 91, which... I'm actually, if there's one thing I am proud about, is that I did get my ICM 91 in this game. It was like from 60 to like 90. That's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. It seems like Japan is, I'm not sure if they're losing, winning, or what's happening with that, but conquered Italy has now been enforced, which means France has been liberated, Belgium's been liberated, Netherlands's been liberated, Luxembourg's been liberated, Poland's been liberated, Romania's been liberated, Yugoslavia's been liberated. Is Yugoslavia technically a part of us, or, or are they a part of the other people? Let's see. Pretty sure they'd be a part of us, but I'm not sure. Slovakia is definitely our ally. I'm a part of the allies. Are they? No, Yugoslavia is still considered communist, so... Wow. Okay, so I guess the front... Oh, by the way. Hey, friends, you're back. Hey, guys. I was planning to invade you in, like, the very beginning of the game, but that didn't quite pan out. So, yeah. Alright, Norway's been liberated. That's good. Okay. Anyway, so, let's see. So, the new, the new border between us and uh, the Soviets is going... Is the new Cold War is going to be like... Yep. That is a weird border. <laughs> okay. And let's see. The Americans... I wonder if they're going to free the Italian states... And maybe make like um uh nicer Italy. Or maybe not. I'm not sure if they are. And then down here, shouldn't they the census have all become like all their land or something? Or well, they still not it seems like some Italians are still fighting down here. Well, you kinda lost your homeland, so 
I don't know how that's going to go. Russia finally finished off all these people. Oh my goodness. Just wow, everyone. This game, man. This game. <laughs> Surprises at every turn. Surprises at every turn. Now, I don't know why. Why isn't America, you know, freeing like Austria, Czechoslovakia? You no, know, all these nations in there. And then, like, maybe, like, make Germany, Denmark. Yeah, why are they freeing Denmark? Hmm. All these questions, man. All these questions. But seriously, you know, I shouldn't even be questioning this because I'm just glad we won that war. I mean, for a good amount of time, it looked like we actually might lose it and actually might have to, like, make this the first HOE, HOI 3 Let's Play I ever did where I lost the war. I mean, technically, I did lose the war because I my country got conquered, but we came back. We came back. Oh. But, nah. But, like, first Let's Play's impressions of this, this is... You know, I'll say this is an alright game. Alright. I don't think I'm entirely convinced that I think it's superior or even an improvement of the HOI 2 system of how everything was done, but I say this game's still pretty fun. Yeah, I'll say it's a pretty fun game. Oh, yeah. Now, what are we going to do about this uh, ch Japanese development? Are we going to start having major offensive against them? Because we probably should. It looks like all these Britain soldiers, I'm pretty sure these are all militiamen, just like, let's see, yes! They're all militiamen, they're all spreading out to try to reconquer the land. Oh, it's so cool. Japan apparently won back Austria, though. New Zealand, though, is the only one being really successful. They're just reconquering all their land. Good job, New Zealand. All right. And surge of volunteers. Good job. Good job. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, excuse me, people. I was yawning there. Oh, man. And let's see. Is that kind of back and forth still going on right here? Shouldn't be, because that's just like... See, America's lining up... Wow, they are. They look like they want to... They want to do... They want to do Operation Unthinkable. They almost feel like they want to do Operation Unthinkable. But I know for a fact we would not win Operation Unthinkable, because there's just way too many troops on either side. The Russians have a clear definitive advantage right now. Um, we have to wait until, like, the French build up a little bit and the Belgianians and the, uh, Netherlandians. Would be Netherland? Netherlanders? Netherlandians? Netherlandites? What would it be, actually? Hmm. Comment. Somebody say in the comment section what that'd be, because I honestly don't know. Be, and that's really interesting, something I'd want to find out. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Do I want to say it? I guess. President France of Annex Vichy France. Oh, wow. Yay! France is all united again. Yay! Okay. Let's see. All you guys are going to be doing this. All you guys are doing that. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um... I think I'm actually going to end the series here, uh, mostly because I feel like this is, Japan's eventually going to lose, okay? Alright? I don't know when, I don't know even in the amount of time they're going to lose, but they're going to lose this war. So, um, you know what? Nah, you know what? I only have, 
I think this game ends in 1948. I have literally one year to go. So we're going to play until the end of the game. But I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Welcome back, everyone, to Espanol Republicano. Where, guys, we're finishing up this Let's Play as we slowly watch everyone defeat the last little remnants of the Japanese Empire. I mean, and what a, and just what a Japanese Empire, you know, campaign this has been. Uh, Nicaragua has accepted into the Axis and will switch, and shall switch the development carefully. What? Did something happen? Nicaragua, that's not exactly smart. You're surrounded by people who basically hate you now. Okay, if you guys really want to do that, be my guess. It's not going to end very pretty for you. Um, anyways though, guys. Manchuko, Soviet Annex, US Enforced Proof. Wow. You, you two, man. You two and your competitions. They're really having a, uh, who can get the most proxy war going on right now. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure this is, this game will end like in one year. And so, we're going to see how far the advancement into Japanese land is going to happen. Um, by this point in our history, the war would have already been over. But then again, in our history, we didn't have like the Dominican Republic join the Axis. Okay, so, a lot of things differently can happen in this game. We're watching as the Soviet Union so invaded a good amount of the Middle East. I actually invaded a little bit of the Middle East. I own a little bit of the Middle East, to be honest with you, which is kind of shocking because I really don't deserve it. I, the best way I could put it is that I really don't deserve that land, but I have it. And will I give it up now? Probably not. <laughs> okay, but we're watching as the Soviet Union crushes through the rest of the Japanese line. Um, Japan is basically fallen. I mean... The biggest allies have been defeated, and they're being crushed to by the Soviets. The Soviets, I'm pretty sure, are going to, like, destroy the entire rest of the Japanese line. Um, Britain's going to probably kill off the rest of this line over here. Um, I don't know who's going to finish off the rest of all the Indonesian islands, but hopefully America, if America gets its stuff together, seriously, letting Pearl Harbor fall, what, who would let that happen? Oy. But they also have lots of troops over here, which is distracting. They all finish, but Meg, yeah, Britain's finishing off the rest of these Japanese troops over here. Uh, Italy, I'm pretty sure is about to fall, even though I thought they already fell. Soviet Union's enforced another conquest. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's. I think it's basically official. They're done for. There's not much else they could really. Japan's front right there in China is done for. Um, I think actually nationalist China is pushing back at this point too. So regime change. Communist China is now a puppet of the Comintern. Yay! I guess. <laughs> Does that mean is Madhu Zong still in charge of the of this, or is somebody else in charge of it? I'm kind of curious. Is do they still have the same leader as before, or I? I don't know where to check that, but that'd be really interesting to find out. You guys, the Chinese, yeah, it seems like Nationalist China is pushing back finally. Um, that's really interesting. Uh, UK looked like it was pushing back for a little bit, but then it's now starting to become way more jumbled up and destroyed than ever. Uh, the Russians, though, are kind of moving back, kind of moving forward. I really don't know. I'm pretty sure they're not going to live, though. If there's one thing I can take away from this, I'm pretty sure Japan's empire is not going to live. We just have to wait to see what exactly happens with the entire, like, frame of mind, but I'm pretty sure they're going to lose. All of nationalist China versus Japan and the Soviet Union and the UK, there is high, this is highly unlikely that they're going to win. Italy, they have decided 8 million bonnets. Long have the long have the world seen an Italians claim to have eight million bonnets ready to defend their country. Italy will show the world with this is not a mere bombastic propaganda. Uh, allies, what? Oh, I I guess we ended the war, guys. This is the end of the game. Yay! So the allies have achieved victory conditions. Yay! I'm on the winning side. Oh, sweet! So what you do now? 
resign the game. Let's let's resign the game. But oh my gosh, I was on the winning side. So let's see what I have to do. We had to do Operation Torch. U.S. is an ally power. Luxembourg is not an Axis or common turn. Paris is not an Axis or common turn. Uh, Vukels is not Axis or common turn. Italy is not Axis or common turn. All these kind of things. We did most of these things. Uh, that was an awesome. So yeah. Well, guys, for my first, like I said, I think I kind of covered it in my last ep my last episode, but basically. And my thoughts finally finally finishing this series officially are is that I guess I don't hate HO3 as much as I did and I guess it is a pretty fun game but would I actually consider it superior to the HOI2 or Darkest Hour? No. Um, do I like the troop count? Eh. No. <laughs> I still find it a little bit stupid in a lot of ways and you guys could see some of that stupidity happen in your own your own stealth, like when my troops somehow like transported all the way to Turkey and started like fighting in that uh little like proxy war we had. I mean, I mean it was kind of cool, neat to see my troops over there, but it was like, why are they over there? They can't get any like good command, command like letters from the from the main HQ, and they couldn't like do stuff, and it's just actually causing more difficulties because of there. And then like, oh man, my. I don't think there was, there was also some stupid things with like how like all, I'd have one unit and I put, I put him next to like three units, all right, and you know, one HQ next to three units, and for some reason one unit would go all the way across the other side of my country and then like just sit there and then just like get out of command, like get out of the range of command and so that unit would never get like, e would never get like supplied and just all these kind of stupid, stupid stuff that kept happening, but Besides for that, I did have fun. I had uh, insane amounts of enjoyment watching those last few moments of the game as we surprisingly, for one, the Soviets held off against the Germans. For two, we be the the Americans actually went in and conquered a lot of um, Germany. And for three, we became the we became a part of the Allies' power, thus winning the game in the end. Wow, what an end game! That was such a what a what a end game. And, yeah, I would not change, change that for the world. So, um, with that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more HOI3, just comment in the comment section. You know, I'll, I'm, you know, I would honestly be willing to do another series of this. This was actually pretty fun. So, yeah. But I think I might, I'll probably move on to a different series. Most likely something in EU4, something to do with Wealth of Nations. But, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. Good Let's Play today. See you guys next time.